And now the numbers of New Zealanders, the number of New Zealanders taking antidepressants has doubled in the past six years, with one in ten Kiwis now taking prescribed medication, a huge number. Yeah, the sudden increase has some wellness professionals questioning just how effective the daily dose-up is. Dr Kathleen Wills is leading the charge for a more holistic approach to mental health and she joins us now. Hello, thank you very much for coming in Kathleen. Good morning. What is this huge uh, rise in the taking? Is it because our mental health is getting worse or is it just because these are so easily available and they're a quick fix? Look, I think antidepressants can be a really good um, step in the right direction for a lot of people, but there are other lifestyle factors as well that are contributing to all this excessive fatigue and depression, isn't it? So, I mean, burnout. We're talking about burnout in my book, right? This is your book, Beat Burnout. Funnily yeah. enough, it talks about burnout yeah. and how to beat it. Yeah. Uh, that's clever. But no, on a serious <laughs> note, though, what you, you talk about stress, you talk mm -hmm. about fatigue. What are the other sort of factors or, or yes. symptoms of which lead to burnout? Well, you know, we're all busy paying our mortgages, running our kids around to all these extracurricular activities, you know, managing busy jobs. And what do, how can we cope? How can we deal with this? Well, we struggle to get out of bed in the morning, don't we? It's We need to have alarms and smartphones to keep mm -hmm going every day we struggle to get to sleep we have restless sleeps even when we do mm -hmm. sleep we might have a low sex drive increase in allergies uh, we might feel daytime sleepiness red or irritated eyes digestive upset muscle aches you know low moods the sky's the limit really mm -hmm. in terms of all these subtle kind of symptoms we're having that aren't necessarily a significant disease that's diagnosed by your GP but they are very very critical symptoms that we need to address so I read in your book, because obviously there's a multitude of ways of which you can you can work towards fixing those sorts of yes. things. Um, and I read in your book, if you've had a antidepressants for a year and you still feel that way, you still feel particularly sluggish, obviously not fully depressed, but if you still feel that way, perhaps anti antidepressants aren't for you. Yes, that's right. I mean, you would want to check with your GP mm. on, on the status of that as well, but there are so many lifestyle factors that come into play. You know, what are you eating? How are you sleeping? What are you doing for exercise? You know, what, what are you putting into your body? How are you breathing even? I talk about an 888 breathing technique. You breathe in for eight counts. You hold it for eight counts and then you breathe out through your jaw, dropping or through your mouth, dropping your jaw. For eight counts and that just brings you right back down it brings your heart rate down it brings your um, breathing rate down so you just feel more in the moment and, and it's the holistic approach that's key in your book isn't it because as you say mm -hmm. it's all things it's the exercise it's the food it's the the looking after yourself and the sleep and all sorts because the uh, the list of stresses in the US are, are far-reaching as well job pressure money health relationships nutrition media overload and sleep deprivation so you sort of have to take a, a quite a broad outlook a broad look at your your general wellness don't you that's exactly right and it doesn't just affect one particular type of person this is entrepreneurs corporate executives children as young as four years old, young, busy um, housemakers, you name it, athletes, it's it interesting. affects everyone. Have you noticed uh, in New Zealand, because uh, I think a lot of Kiwis, uh, I'm thinking probably more of the males who say, look, who'd want to tough it out. I don't mm. need any help with this. I'm fine with it. Uh, that, that we're sort of cutting off our nose to spot our face sometimes. Are we bad at seeking help with what seems to me such um, straightforward advice? You know what, I, I would agree with you, Rodin. I think that there is this kind of Kiwi bloke mentality that, oh, that's all right, we'll be sweet, mate, you know, mm -hmm. we, can, we can get over this. But what they don't realize is that there are alternatives to those feelings. I mean, what I see in men particularly is testosterone decline, so that essential hormone, right? And what happens with men in the mid-30s and beyond, they start to develop um, the guts and they get the man boobs or the moobs. Dead I call them the moobs. <laughs> <laughs> and, and fatigue, <laughs> low moods, <laughs> low libido, you know, all yeah. these things. Mm. And actually that can be checked. It's mm. called free testosterone by bloods. And you can actually replenish that mm. naturally mm. to bring back that vitality. Mm. Interesting, I think it's not just men as well. I think in New Zealand particularly yes. we have a, this is this normalizing of, of stress. A lot of people say, oh, I'm stressed and tired. And someone else will say, well, welcome to the club. I've got a yeah. I've got this. So yeah. everyone yeah. close to outstress each. Each other, That's right. which is quite sort of dangerous because it makes you think well okay well I should feel that way you know I should feel stressed and people are much less likely to want to do something about it to feel that they should change. That's exactly right I mean if you have any of those symptoms listed in my book 
would be worth checking out how to beat burnout, I think. Fantastic. Well, we've got three of these books to give away um, to some of our lucky viewers. If you have been watching and see and think, I need to read that, there's, go to our Facebook page right now, and uh, we've got three to give away to you. If you can prove that you're more stressed than anyone else, well, no, just just go to our Facebook page and, uh, and yeah. chuck your name in there. Yeah, Dr. Kathleen Will, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very yeah. much. Thanks. I will be fascinated to have a read of that. Oh, mm. I should mention, too, if you really need some relief from this burnout, we are doing a retreat in the Asawa Islands Ooh. in October for Yasawas. five days. Hold on, that's hot yeah. and sunny <laughs> and beachy, isn't it, the Asawa? Yeah, Asawa's They're in the, uh, so off, Aust off Australia, oh, aren't they? Fantastic. Fiji. 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 That's in even Fiji. Better. Fantastic. World travelers, mm. fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's very kind of you to invite me along, Kathleen. <laughs> <laughs> so at least the stress of having to pay for it as well. No. <laughs>